Hello there guys, my name is Mr. Yorkie's World, welcome back to the channel, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to get rid of the heat blur effect in the A320neo in Microsoft Flight Simulator. It's a nice effect, but I personally think it's a little bit overkill, uh, and when you're trying to record cinematic shots from the left wing view, it can sort of ruin the immersion a little. It's not something that I've ever really noticed when I've looked out of the window of an aircraft, and uh, if ever I have, it's not really been as noticeable as what it seems to be in the simulator. Now, before you watch this video any further, it would be helpful if you could find out where your particular installation directory for Microsoft Flight Simulator is. Uh, in my case, it's located uh, on a separate SSD, so E Drive, Microsoft Flight Simulator. So all you really need to do in order to get rid of this effect within the simulator is to find a file called fx underscore asobo underscore heat underscore big dot fx and then rename it to the same name but instead of it having a dot fx extension you're going to change that to dot off uh, or indeed you can make another folder within that folder and move it into there whichever you prefer you can just call the folder back up and move that file completely into that new directory. So the actual file is located within your Microsoft Flight Simulator directory it's inside official, one store, fs-base-effects-legacy, and then effects. Now, again, this will vary depending on where you purchased uh, the simulator, whether it be on the uh, Microsoft Store or whether it be on Steam. So you need to find out your directory before you try and find this file. But basically, it's in the official folder, uh, fs-base-effects-legacy. So as you can see in this example of a wing view, the effect turned on looks a little bit over-exaggerated. And then if we look at this, we can see the exact same wing view, but with the effect turned off. So you can see it does make quite a large difference. It's literally night and day, on or off. Unfortunately, there isn't an option at the moment, I don't think, uh, to reduce the effect to make it look a little bit more realistic and in proportion, but hopefully that will be something that Microsoft uh, will be modifying in one of the upcoming uh, sim updates to take into account uh, what sort of thrust level the engines are set at, because obviously that effect gets bigger and smaller depending on the thrust level that the engines are currently set at. But anyway, thanks again guys for watching this video, leave me a like if you enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe for more regular flight sim content, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.